Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Banaka and today is a Shave With Me Day. And today we are using Mammoth Soaps Mood Indigo. Technically now it's the House of Mammoth. So I scooped it out, sent a sample to my friend. It's a really clean scent. I'm going to insert the scent notes here. And then today is going to be a BBS Live Shave Day. Basically, mostly everything that I'm using, like the Mama Soap and Balm, is what I want from BBS Live on Instagram. If you don't check them out, go check them out. And most of you are, so you guys know they do giveaways every other Thursday. So I won this from them. It was a set. I cannot remember who donated it to them. And I apologize. And um, I'm going to be using my Wild West Shave Brush. This is also what I won from Mel um, BBS Live last year. And I'm also going to be using my Marvel Razor that Nate and Mel bought me when I... Because this... Uh, this was my very first, I believe, win, and then I also won, no, this is my second win, because that night I won also um, a shaving soap set, and then I won the brush, and the only thing I didn't win was the razor, so they kicked in and they bought me razor as a gift, so thank you, you guys, and for the blade, it's a mysterious uh, Brenner blade, so we don't know what that is until we crack it open, which would be in this uh, second part. And thanks again, um, uh, Craig McDonald for embroidering my towel. Like I said, I use it as a watermark. All right, now it's gonna be a second for you guys. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, bye. Welcome back. Like I said, today I'm using a uh, Mood Indigo from the House of Mammoth, and I just got done leathering. Got off her little hands, and let's get this leg wet and get this shave rolling, right? Now it's usually story BS time. Uh, let me see. It was a good weekend. Uh, my birthday passed. Um, over the weekend, we just frittered around town. We figured uh, this upcoming weekend we would head out of town. But I have a feeling that's not going to happen. Because my partner forgot he ordered some car parts. And there's no way in how I'm going to let him leave his car parts outside. But we're gone. Because he ordered it Sunday. We were talking about leaving last week. Um, so. He didn't take into that consideration that he ordered those parts. And more than likely we're probably not going to leave town. Because <laughs> my mom wanted to go down to Salt Lake City to go um, buy some flowers because right now her uh, wholesaler where she buys her flowers from they're, they're soap flowers and they're having a sell so and like I says I'm using the Marvel razor and Brandner what's up dude you sent me another blade that has no writing on it <laughs> so I cannot tell you what the blade is it's one of the three from the last one and this is the marble Nate and Mel sent me. And anyway. Um, I wanted to go down. We're not leaving. So we're staying home. And we'll probably do something after the stinking parts come. But I am not leaving them on the porch. Because um, I cried when my package got stolen. And you know, if you didn't know about it, I made a video on it. And I put the video of the girl kiping it off my porch. <sighs> Police still never got back to me on that freaking thing. So it's a lost cause. But that truck, you know, we haven't seen it around town. So more than likely the guy got picked up. And that helped her. But where are my packages only? 52 bucks but still come on you guys are shaving people there was a buttload of samples and it was a uh, 30 a millimeter um, brush for maggard and usually packages take a week to me so I didn't really think anything of it and then 
I was like, gee, it's been a week. Uh, it should be coming. So then I checked my uh, emails, and lo and behold, it was already delivered on a Tuesday when I checked my emails on a Friday. Yes, yeah, so I had to go back. Her part is stolen. And then I noticed two same chicken stealing packages from other people's porches. So. She's in jail. I think the driver's in jail. But they're they're not gonna pay me back for my Chevy stuff because they probably think that's stupid. Why does she buy stupid shooting stuff? Hey, anyway, I don't like that crap, right? <laughs> so uh, yeah. And like I said, I stayed in town, uh gambled, um, lost sixty bucks. Um, I have a friend lives in Vegas. She's like, oh, I always go to casino, drop a 20 in. She'll drop a 20 in and hit like a hundred and something. And then another hundred and something, she'll drop a 20 in and hit another 70 bucks or 50 bucks or whatever, right? And she's calling and she's like, I'm like, well, that's cool because if she tells her family, shoot. First thing out of their mouth, mom, I need money. <laughs> so I'm like, the only way she could actually really tell that she won something without somebody hitting her up, right? I'm a good friend like that. We call and BS with each other for years. I'm not kidding you. Since I was 18 and I'm now 40 something, you do the math. So basically, over 20 years, we've been friends and talking with each other. So, anyway, I figured I'd go try throw my 20 in, nothing. Then this one guy, he's like, you gotta do max bet. Oh, okay. Well, let's do max bet then. What the heck? And here in Montana, uh, in the small casinos, because each small casino could only hold 20 machines, and max bet is uh, $2 to spend. Sure, I'll try $2. Nope, didn't do crap. And then, um, um, I've been chatting with Alejandro, and then, uh, he's like, good luck, and I was so hoping I would have hit something, so hoping, but it didn't. And then, so, he's like, I told him, oh, I did it, when, he's like, how much did you spend? And I told him, he's like, you know you could have had a brush <laughs> for 60 bucks. I'm like, I know, I know, I know. But, it's nothing like that chance, man. You gotta throw your chance in a bucket. Because, if you, I'll say, because I see people, not all the time, but most of the time, they'll go in there. They'll throw, like, they're usually sprackers. <laughs> Maybe the sprackers just got that luck. But anyway, they throw $5 in. And they will hit right off the back. Like, 100 and something, $200. I'm like, seriously? On five dollars? And I usually only bet five dollars. And I usually only bet ten cents a spin. When I get really ballsy, it's like a quarter a spin. <laughs> and I'm not a big, um, like, winning. Because I know I, one time, I know it's a fluke, but one time I did hit three hundred on five cents. And it was on the five dollar bill. And that was like years ago. So, I know it can be done, because it happened to me. I'm just going to use up all this leather. But anyway. I tried. I was defeated. I failed. So, bummer. Just don't have good luck this month. Let me see. Uh, let me tell you another little story. <laughs> Anyway, um, it was a month ago, eh, a little over a month, um, we went and gambled, threw 20 in, I hit 370 bucks, and, um, so I was like, all right, all happy, and this is like, the most I won was like 375, 380 or something like that. 
So I was all like jazzed out, right? And I was like, all right, I'm on, I'm a winner. And it was like off of 25 bucks, 20 bucks or whatever. And I was all jazzed out. And then the cashier girl goes, oh, I always bet six numbers and I always bet a quarter and I hit 800. I'm like, okay, just, just the other week, we went up to, the, I think it's called the Richest Hill Casino. I'm like, oh, okay, I never heard of it. And it's uptown, and um, she went there, she said she was betting a quarter, she hit 800 on the machine, cashed out, went to another machine. She didn't tell me how much she threw in, but she hit 800 again. And I'm like, seriously? She's like, yeah. And then I'm sitting there looking at my uh, 375 bucks, like, oh. Made me feel like shit. Basically, I was all jazzed out and happy and excited, like I was a winner. And then she made my winning feel like I was a loser, because I never hit 800. Because that's max that you could hit in this state is 800 on a spin. But you could cash, let's say, you got in a bonus, and the bonus is 15 spins. You could literally hit 800 on each spin 15 times and cash out for thousands. Likely that happening? Not. But it is technically possible. So. Yeah, so my partner and I were like, it's like the week after that, we're like, let's go check out that casino since she says it only takes a quarter bet and she hit $800. Because in this day, I've been here since 2011 with my partner and I have yet to hit 800 And he's hit 800 like five, six times. So... It, it's bound to happen, all right? <laughs> I just don't get good odds. With me, I know everything is odds. Just like how we used to do sales. If, let's say, you were having a crappy day and you had to talk to 25 people to make one sale and then you needed to accomplish, like, 10 sales, that just means, just times it. That's how many people you got to talk to. Literally, you're talking to that many people in a day. Not likely, but you got to do your odds. You just... You just have to. So, that's how I always think of everything now in life. It's your odds. Well, right now my odds in gambling are not good. <laughs> okay. Pat that dry. Mm. Yeah, now he's singing it. And usually I miss a couple of hairs right here. I nailed them today. But anyway, patty pat pat pat. We're gonna use their bomb. Let's shake it up. Hopefully, I'm in frame. I'm usually out of frame. First time using this. So it looks like it's a fresh, clean scent, just like the soap. And I noticed too, some scents differ from the soaps from the bombs and the aftershaves. Ugh. I always go out of frame. I'm so sorry. Been doing this for almost a year. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Whoops. Nah. I think that's a little too much, but oh well. See, now in the balm, it's a lot spicy. Oh my gosh, I got here on my arms too. <laughs> it's a little more of a liquidy than I thought. Now there's a little hint of wood in it now, which before when I was in the soap, couldn't smell it. I am balming my arms. <laughs> oh man. If it ain't one thing, it's another with me. And if you hung tough with me this part, and I really appreciate you guys. I know. This week was nice and calm though, because it was like, no drama. Drama free. Yes, baby, yes. Sometimes it's like full of drama and I like it, but not this week. No, 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 no. 
anyway thanks again and like i said thank you bbs live for doing the giveaways because if it wasn't for you guys i wouldn't have half of the soaps <laughs> i have because actually i'm really lucky on bbs live um my odds are good in real life casino gambling my odds are <laughs> bad anyway how's the mom um house mammoth there uh, mood indigo uh see you guys next time out <laughs>